now the Canadian national champion. She was seventh in four continents last year. Competed in one event so far this season, the Andre Nepilar Memorial Trophy in Bratislava, where she almost got a podium place there. She finished in fourth place. Just 17 years of age. Here's getting to some music from uh, Astor Piazzolla. This is Gabrielle Daleman. jump combination here. Triple looks loads of height, double toe, double loop. In the short program, she just overcooked things a little bit. She was getting a lot of elevation. on the triple toe and she manages to make the rotation on the second one looks as though the free foot touched down but that was triple toe triple toe and there's a huge flip Just love the quality of these jumps. Cracking triple loop. Yo soy Maria, de Buenos Aires. Soy la más bruja cantando y amando también. Oh, wow. Bit of a salvage job on that Salco toe loop. Complete now. Rock solid double axle. She'll take that. I tell you, yesterday, 
It was almost as if the adrenaline had, uh, had got to her, the sense of the occasion, and she was almost out jumping herself. Today, she seemed to be in much more control. Those jumps are still huge, but that was a fabulous skate there from Gabrielle Dalman, and uh, you fancy that be, might be enough to put her into the lead. It was attacking, it was athletic, and I love the balance in the choreographic intensity, the way it was put together. I love the breathing point. It was just enough to keep you interested, giving her the chance to pull things back together again before that Lutz and loop and Salco with the, the double uh, toe loop on the end of it, that combination after the little break. Big jumps. The triple flip before that was really high. And when the jumps weren't quite working, she fought for it. The triple looks, double toe loop things, but it was the triple toe loop, the second one, triple toe loop. She made it work. She got two feet down on the second part of the jump, but she didn't pull out of it. She just attacked it. And that was the way it was right the way through the program. It's this athleticism and height in the elements and just a real good balance in the program. A great job from the whole team. Super. Just like nice pacing. Yeah, really, really good. You can see that technical score. It's still behind our leader, but she may have enough in hand. Remember, it's Tessin Bieva from Kazakhstan leading first. at the moment. I started chasing today. Oh, really? Okay. I was like, I don't care if you're There's late about for this, four points we're between Tessin Bieva and Delman. She needs a 111.04 from the free to take the lead and uh, her season's best so far is 110.96 so it's going to be mighty close here's a look at that look just lovely knee bend going into that love the way she attacks that lovely double toe double loop on the end just a free leg touching down on the end of the loop hips got a little bit too far forwards and this was cracking look at the length on that toe loop that's the way to do it could be under rotated I think she's likely to get an under rotation on that second toe loop. And there's the flip. She loves those flips and looks, doesn't she? What a technique. And super presentation coming out. But if you if you wanted to make up your own program and you take this one to pieces, just look at the timing of the elements, the way it's put together, the way the music works. It really was a masterclass lesson in structure. Okay, 111.04, she's gonna do it. Look at that, 116.20. It's the season's best overall score for her. And uh, she goes shooting into the lead. So, Delman for Canada now leads. Elizabeth tesson Bieva, who skated superbly in second place now. We got 54 above.